aside from its name being associated with progress and economic growth. Negros Occidental was once known as an island teeming with vast forest and wildlife. Sadly, agriculture and logging also flourished and left the province with only 4% of forest from the once 95% of green trees. In 1984, a group of concerned citizens established a Save Our Forest movement that aims to protect the remaining forest space and endemic animals in the region. Since then, the advocacy grew into what is now the Negros Forest and Ecological Foundation that attracts volunteers from all walks of life that pushes for reforestation and the protection of endangered species. In 1996, another program was established to serve as a rescue and breeding ground for threatened animals in the vicinity. So this is the Biodiversity Conservation Center. So it is a, breed a rescue and breeding center for some of the endangered or threatened animals, threatened endemic animals that we have here in the West Visayas Ponal region, meaning the animals that are found in Negros, Panay, Cebu, Guimaras, and Masabate. Kailain man ang animals that are found in this region compared sa ibang parte din ng Pilipinas. The Biodiversity Conservation Center was a brainchild of British conservationist William Oliver, who decided to institutionalize a program after they found out the depleting status of the Visayan spotted deer. They did a survey on the state of the spotted deer in the Philippines, and then they need a and then they realized that the, the animals are already endangered and they need help. So actually the, the center itself um, is one of the rescue centers established for that purpose because we want to establish a viable population of the animals. Today, the center is home to around 20 species of animals from the greater Negros Panay Funnel region. They have also rescued a number of breeds of hornbills a bird characterized by long, down-curved bill. So we have Visayan spotted deer, we have Visayan warty pig, Visayan leopard cat, and then we have rescued um, flying foxes or yung mga kabog. And then we have sa mga birds, we have yung hornbills, the Visayan hornbills. No? We have yung Visayan terictic hornbill and rufous-headed hornbill which are found in the region. And we also have Mindanao na rufous, southern rufous hornbill. All of the animals found in the center are either rescued or turned over by owners, while others are confiscated through illegal activities. Bale, ang ultimate goal of the center is to breed the species, no? to breed the animals, and then return them into their natural habitat once we have located a habitat which is protected. Currently, we're still looking for sites, possible sites, where we can release the animals um, because it's not a, an easy process, so it's as um, we need permit to do that to release animals back into the wild. The center is currently being supported by the provincial government as well as global benefactors who have been helping them for the past 20 years, as well as a number of donating individuals. The institution also serves as an educational center and is open to the public. Here, they teach them about the animals and how they could help protect the environment and the species. We are also open to public. This is not only a breeding center and a rescue center, but this is an education center. Um, people, especially school children, visit uh, visits here. They are welcome here um, because this is an opportunity for students and the general public to actually see the animals that we have here in Negros because not everyone could actually go to the forest and see these birds. So here, they can see them, they can better appreciate them, and hopefully before they leave the center, um, we are able to um, change their behavior. They have better appreciation of what we have here in Negros and, and help us in conserving and protecting these animals. The Biodiversity Conservation Center is located right next to the Capital Lagoon. So uh, we are open Mondays to Saturdays from 9 o'clock to, um, to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. If you are um, having a large group, you may call us at 433-923-42, book your tours.